Hi YouTube, I'm Jack, a radiology trainee in London. I've just finished my first month of radiology training and I've noticed a few things about the job and about myself that I perhaps wasn't expecting, especially coming from specialties where you work on the ward. The first thing is that feeling that you should always be doing something with your time. Now, if you've done your foundation years, then you probably know what I mean. It's that feeling where you have a moment to pause and then you think to yourself, there must be discharge letters or prescriptions to write. I found that I was still getting that kind of feeling at work. And I was talking about this with one of the other trainees who said that they also had that feeling, but uh, eventually it fades. And that's probably because most of the time in radiology, you don't have patients under your direct care. The second thing I've noticed is that I finally have some time to do some hobbies. Back in foundation years and core surgical training, after work I would just flop down face first into the sofa because I was too exhausted to do anything. However, now after a day of radiology, I notice that uh, I'll get home, sit down and then think, I have so much more energy and time now. There are quite a few hobbies that I'd stopped, such as well, exercising, running, and in the past month I've restarted a few of those. The other great thing during the day at work is that you do have time to take your lunch breaks um, or to have a tea break, for example. So I think that helps with you not being completely worn out by the end of the day. The third thing I've noticed um, during this month is that you're really just a beginner again. Radiology is completely different to other specialties, not just in the amount of anatomy and pathology and physics knowledge that you need to obtain, but also there are lots of different skills that you need to learn, such as uh, ultrasound and fluoroscopy and basic interventional procedures that many people won't have done or may only have done a little bit during their clinical work. The upshot of this, however, is that you do learn really fast and there is a lot of teaching. We have dedicated teaching about once a day and because you've only just started, you're pretty much supernumerary. All of your x-rays and scans get looked over by a senior uh, and often they'll discuss with you some feedback. I found that I've had a lot of contact time with consultants uh, and senior trainees. The fourth thing I've noticed is the pay drop that you get when you switch from a more on-call heavy specialty to radiology. Radiology ST1 typically doesn't involve many nights or weekends. And also I've come from surgical training where I've been working on calls, so you get that extra supplement. Even if you've come from a busy F2 rotation, uh, for example, if you worked in A&E, then you probably noticed the drop in pay. Honestly, although that first paycheck was a bit of a surprise, I have really enjoyed getting all my weekends back and all my evenings back as well. And I suppose if you wanted to top up your pay, then you could always do a locum shift or something. The last thing I've noticed is how social a specialty it is, but also how flat the hierarchy is. Now, I'm sure you're all familiar with flat hierarchies in uh, typically acute specialties. I think anaesthetics and A&E are the typical examples. In those, you're often on first name terms uh, with the consultants and also uh, with a lot of the other staff. The difference I've noticed in radiology that I haven't seen very much elsewhere is that if you call your consultant doctor so and so, every time pretty much without fail they will correct you and say call me my first name. I think it's really interesting because a lot of times when I've called consultants Dr XYZ, even if they don't mind you calling them their first name, often they won't take the extra effort to correct you. All in all I think that really fosters a nice um, atmosphere in radiology where all the trainees and all the consultants get on well together and it's quite different to a lot of specialties that I've seen before. If you haven't already, check out my video about why I left surgery for radiology. Leave questions in the comments and I'll try to answer. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see you next time.